in my people. We all know, due to the evidence behind me, that I drink a lot of booze, and a lot of it is Australian. Because, well, I'm a proud Aussie. My family's been here for almost 200 years. But tonight, um, I'm going to review the competition. The stuff that is on absolutely every bottle shop shelf in Australia, and a lot of them overseas. Okay, so I'm going to take on the um, first genuinely big international brand with the possible exception of Roku and I think actually um, Absolute Vodka has a wider global reach so I've tried Australian Vodkas I've reviewed Port Phillip Distillery's Premium Vodka absolutely love this I've tried the Sunflower Vodka from Imbue thought that was fantastic and if you go and look at the review, I was more than a bit partial to the efforts from Archie Rose with their Australian Native Botanical Vodka, which is just fantastic. So tonight I'm going to jump up to Sweden and try Absolute. It's a bottle that any <laughs> anyone who's ever drunk vodka um, in the Western world would actually recognise. So a lot of you have drunk it. Um, and there's a whole set of videos that, that I want to break the internet with. Because you guys could just kind of punch this up to a million views and just have a go crazy. Um, and the ultimate factor is, is that it's been a good what, 20 years since I've drank this stuff. Certainly well before Boost News and Reviews was ever thought of in any um, name of what I've had. You know, back well before Gin and Asperger's and all that stuff. So I'm going to go back to my origins. Back when this was a brunette and this didn't have so many laughter lines. And... Um, well, I was just a lot younger, and perhaps not as discerning in my taste. So, there's no sound of happiness, because absolute, as you all know, does screw tops. I have to work around my <clears throat> my bias towards the gins, oh, I'm sorry, vodkas, I know and I love. Um, and I have to get around the fact that this is the best vodka I have ever tasted. Sorry, Nick. This would have to come in second best. Okay. But the stuff out of Port Phillip Distillery is incredibly easy drinking. And Mick does a, a lethal vodka as well. So, but when you're not hearing the bunging in the background, um, that is my benchmark to actually test whether Absolute is as good. Um, or just how drinkable it is. It's got a really different mouthfeel compared to Port, Port Vic, Arthur Le Vodka. Chris's stuff, which is this, is incredibly smooth drinking, and I've declared it completely lethal in the past because it doesn't taste like it's 40%. And in front of the vodka, yep, it and absolute are, are, are identical alcohol percentages. Stuff out of Imbue is a little bit lighter at 38%, but Archie Rose out of Sydney is I get it right. Um, same percentage. And to be entirely honest with you, um, the Swedish stuff is actually rougher. Um, and I will get around to trying the, the, the Russian stuff, Stolich now. I haven't been drinking that much this morning. I'm still pronounce Stolich now properly. Um, look, it warms the cockles of your heart. If I was yeah, in Sweden and I was knee deep in snow um, I, <laughs> I would wish to anyone of you want to go bailing me um, enough money to get airfares to get to Sweden take the family have a holiday which we all need thank you very much for offering um, I'll take them um, if I was knee deep in snow in Sweden on Christmas what a big hint um, this would be great drinking but to be honest with you actually produce better stuff in Australia so if you're wandering uh, or wondering or wondering what it is you want to drink I strongly suggest you actually take the proper time or take the extra time to go and do a whole lot of clicking and get a bottle of this sent to you if you're in Oz or 
New Zealand and the UK, which are the places where Australian booze gets sent easiest. Um, I make a bottle of this stuff. Um, and a pinch through the Archie Rose because all of the Australian vodkas are much, much smoother drinking. Um, I think I've made cocktails out of at least one of them. I certainly have made a um, portable mule and a sunrise and a screwdriver out of this wonderful stuff. And no, I'm not getting paid to um, advertise it. And for me, the Australian stuff just blends in. It's less obtrusive, it's less upfront, it's easier drinking. Um, and if you're going to, like I say, if you're going to go into a bottle shop and have Absolute, which is the the only advantage I can think of buying Absolute over buying, actually, well, no, sorry, but okay, but shoot myself in the foot. Um, Absolute is the same price as this stuff. Okay, I rock up to the gin dispensary. I shot out about fifty bucks for this, and when I rocked up to a bottle shop not far from me, I paid about fifty bucks for this. So, why would you want to shell out? 50 bucks for something like this when it's no near the quality of this or shell out 50 bucks for this and you can shell out a bit more and well, more likely meet Mick if you're actually in, in Melbourne um, and you actually end up with a better class of drink to be perfectly honest with you um, and no I'm not getting paid to do this this is simply me trying a world dominating brand and saying look um, I've drunk significantly better stuff and done it locally and just because it's international and it's got a, a, um, the Swedish government behind it doesn't necessarily make it better than the Australian stuff um, and it's like they say about Carlton United Breweries Carlton United Breweries spills more stuff or it has more bad batches than Two Brothers or Two Rupees or Bad Shepherd um, which are the uh, this breweries closest to me would make in the average year, and I think this is very much the case. Just because it's you know, on your on your bottle shelf shelf and it's there and it's nice and cheap, um, doesn't necessarily mean it's it's better. In fact, I think to be honest with you, um, I'll likely be blending this with some really highly flavoured um, things over summer, simply because this is a rougher drink. You will do far better drinking this or this or this and there's at least one other I've forgotten which is out of Heels Law and I can't find off the top of my shelf um, than you would hitting this if you're in Australia or just anywhere because like I say the Australians will you know, mail overseas if we can. So thank you for watching. Um, you more likely not the review expecting of, and it's a bit longer than I expected to. But let's go break the internet. Let's go. Let's get a new review. Catch up.